Right now, Governor Lujan Grisham is planning to make zero emission vehicles more available to New Mexicans. She says the plan is an attempt to reduce the state's carbon footprint. But a Target 7 investigation reveals some of the difficulties facing consumers wanting to buy an electric vehicle. Here's Andres Valle. A push for a cleaner New Mexico. For model year 2027 passenger vehicles, 43, so nearly half of all the new vehicles sold in New Mexico must be zero emission vehicles. That's the plan Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced earlier this month. With the state pushing for more electric vehicles on the roadways, Larry Burns with the Power of the Future says New Mexicans aren't wanting to make the switch. Both things can't be true. They can't be so popular that the governor says these are the greatest thing to ever come along, yet not popular enough that she has to mandate that they are the cars that are sold. Target 7 obtained this data from the Taxation and Revenue Department. It shows fewer than 1% of all vehicles in the state are electric. Only 4.1% are hybrid. New Mexicans have rejected it. They don't want it. That's not to say they won't in the future, but it won't be because of some arbitrary rules out of Santa Fe. So what's the cost to buy these EVs? Well, according to Kelly Blue Book, the average cost of a brand new electric vehicle is $60,000. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says the average New Mexican makes $54,000 $400 a year. And the other issue, the state limits some makers like Tesla from directly selling to consumers. So not only does she say you must, you know, select from more EVs when you go to buy a car, you can only select from certain EVs now when you go to buy a car as she shuts out one manufacturer versus others. Under New Mexico law, car makers must sell their cars through dealership. This Tesla store near Bernalillo is only here because the company was able to find a loophole, sell their cars on the Pueblo. Senator Jerry Ortiz Epino pushed to change that back in 2019, but the legislation was vetoed by the governor. When we couldn't get an agreement from the automobile dealers, the company, Tesla itself, decided, well, we can just go right around this. We'll go directly to uh, tribes. And because the tribes are sovereign, we don't have any control over what they do or don't do. And so they can they can go ahead and allow Tesla to sell directly to consumers. Tesla did let me know the time frame in order to get a new Tesla in your name. It's going to take about two weeks. Meanwhile, Malloy Nissan of Albuquerque says they're lucky to have even a single EV on their lots for purchase. The center believes with a new push for more EVs, the market could change. The initial purchase price may go up, but the trade off then is you won't be paying anything for gas. All electric vehicles were really hard to find. They're still pretty hard to find. We did reach out to New Mexico Auto Dealers Association about how they feel about the governor's new plan. They told me they have not yet taken a stance, but we'll be meeting next week. Reporting for Target 7, Andres Valle. Andres, thank you. The federal government could give you up to $7,500 if you're buying a new electric car and $4,000 if you're buying a used car. The money's coming from the IRS EV tax credit.